Hi, this is Judy, your wayward muse. On the evening of October 8th, 2019, we noticed an invasion of all these cute fuzzy caterpillars crawling over the rabbit brush that was clinging to the north side of our house. Interestingly, we didn't see them on the rabbit brush around the corner on the east or west sides of the house, just on the north. Who knows what that means? Anyway, these caterpillars belong to the milkweed tussock moth, which is a beige looking moth that I'm always rescuing out of my bird baths and dog water. In 2008, I filmed a whole herd of them going across the Vico Wash and made a video. The typical host plant for this moth is milkweed and related plants in the family such as dogbane, but not rabbit brush. So I had to do some research. It turns out that all three plants have one thing in common, latex. That's right, the same latex on those gloves you wash dishes with. While latex is used for clothing, paint, and binding solutions, it's mostly used to make rubber. Rabbit brush is a part of the Asteraceae family, the aster or sunflower group. Its leaves look like milkweed, but it's not milkweed and I never saw these caterpillars eating. There were no skeletal remains of the plants after they were gone. So perhaps the caterpillars were as lost as I was trying to figure out what was going on here. Who knows? Something most of us probably know is that caterpillars have to make a cocoon or chrysalis where it will go through metamorphosis and then come out as a moth or butterfly. But did you know that the larvae that hatches from a moth or butterfly's egg goes through many stages before it does that? Well, now you do. A great blog by B. Laporte in Ontario, Canada explains this in depth. Caterpillars go through five stages called instars. The first instar is after they hatch. They're these tiny little cream colored worms and they start eating the milkweed plant or host plant. It takes about a week, and this is when they develop their chemical defense because they get toxins from the plant, which makes them toxic to predators, which eventually turns into those black and orange colors. That's a warning to the predators. Then in the early end stars, they're tiny and gray and then their little black heads pop out and they start developing the long hairs on the front and the back which they're called pencils. Instar usually refers to molting. They go through five molts and their mouths change sizes and in the last instars you see them like they are here and I saw some that were just an inch long and some that were big and three inches long. So those are the last end stars. They were only here for about two days and then they were all gone. I have no idea where they went except to know that According to my research, they all split up and go build their own separate cocoons somewhere, which will keep them warm all winter until they emerge in the springtime as moths. 
Now look right here. I love their little pink feet. Those are actually their feet. Aren't they cute? I don't think these bite. I never touched them, but they can cause irritation to the skin. I still want to know where they went. I looked all around and didn't see them anywhere. The whole thing is still a mystery to me, even though I learned more than what most people do, <laughs> unless you go become an entomologist. So that's the story about my cute little caterpillars. Hope I see them again someday. I think they're so lovely. I love them so much. Well, until next time, thank you so much for watching and happy trails.